I uh, really uh, don't know why it is that uh, all of us are so committed to the sea, except I am, uh, I think it's because, in addition to the fact that the sea uh, changes and the light changes and uh, ships change, it's because uh, we all came from the sea. Carnival Cruise Lines was founded in 1972 by Ted Arison, an immigrant from Tel Aviv. Before moving to America in 1952, Arison studied commerce and economics at the University of Beirut and fought as a member of the Jewish Brigade in the British Army during World War II. Frustrated with the lack of business opportunities, Arison wrapped up his business and moved to the United States in 1952. He first took his family to New York and then moved to Miami in 1966 where he co-founded Norwegian Cruise Lines. The partnership broke up on bad terms and Arison formed Carnival Cruise Lines in 1972, which is where he would make his fortune. To finance the new cruise line, Arison turned to his friend Mushalem Rickless, who owned the Boston-based American International Travel Services, also known as AITS. Arison and Rickless set up the new company as a subsidiary of AITS. Two years later, due to regulatory issues, Rickless sold AITS interest in Carnival Cruise Lines to Arison for just one dollar. The split enabled Carnival Corporation to enter a new relationship with independent travel agencies. As their first ship, Arison purchased the Empress of Canada, which he renamed the Carnival Mardi Gras. Up until then, cruising was only for the very wealthy, but Arison promoted his ship to be for a younger crowd ordinary people so that everybody had a chance to travel on board a cruise ship vacation. The Mardi Gras set sail on her maiden voyage on March 11, 1972. Despite running aground on her very first sailing, Arison's new cruising format proved very successful and allowed Carnival to purchase two more cruise ships called the Carnival and the Festival. Carnival would structure their cruises so that for the price of what a mid-level hotel would cost on a land-based vacations, Cruisers could have their cabin, food, entertainment, and transportation to tropical destinations all included. They would also teach their staff to be very good to passengers, giving them an at-home feel, which would make cruise travelers be very loyal to sea vacations as well as loyal to the Carnival brand itself. Since the early years, despite several negative instances that have attracted national attention, Carnival has grown and grown. Today, they have 26 ships, with more being built or refurbished every year. In late 2020, Carnival will launch a new ship called the Carnival Mardi Gras. While paying homage to the same name, that'll be all that this ship has in common with her 1972 sister ship. The new ship will not only be luxurious, it'll be over four times the crew and seven times the passenger and vessel size of the original Mardi Gras. She will also boast many cruise innovations, such as Bolt, an onboard roller coaster that will run the length of the ship high above the Lido deck. Have you traveled on Carnival? Which of these ships have you been on? Wow, that's an impressive list of ships. I've been on a lot of them. Tell me what you think in the comments down below and please don't forget the subscribe button so that YouTube will let you know every time we post a brand new video. I'll see you next time or up on the Lido deck. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore, uh, we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it. Hey guys, join us on March 5th, 2022, as we sail on the Carnival Glory. This group cruise will celebrate Carnival's 50th anniversary celebration. Eight-day cruise will be from New Orleans to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and even Montego Bay, Jamaica. Private events with free drinks, meet and greets, free ship tours, gifts, and a whole lot more on this group event. And the coolest part, this is Carnival's 
50th anniversary and along the way, lots of ships are going to meet up at sea for a grand celebration. Prices as low as $941 for an inside cabin with a great payment program that starts with only $100 down. Now you need to reserve your cabin quick because space is limited. Call me now at 330-968-4300.